Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to improve this render to this one with these 5 tips I'm going to show you. So, I got this render from my friend Molly. You might have seen him commenting on some videos. He lost his project sadly, so I used my model from the same project so I could recreate his render and show you guys how to improve these renders. Most people that are beginners or don't have much time just import a model, adding some low quality materials, putting down some items for the environment, they go to the camera, take a picture, adding the realistic style on top of it, and that's their render. Disappointed! But I think you can get a way better result in almost the same time with these 5 tips. So the first thing I want to talk about are the materials. The materials can make a big difference. I would suggest to use the Lumion ones that are made by a third party or having a resolution of at least 2K. You can see that in the name of the materials in the library. Also, the materials with a D are better because these have a displacement map that gives you more depth to the overall look. Then, if you have more time, you can adjust some materials with the Lumion settings. For example, the orientation, giving it a weathering, or softening the edges. If you really want to level up your render, you can go to websites for example Polygon or Quixel to download 4 or even 8K materials. Keep in mind that these take a lot of space inside your computer and make the project really heavy. Also, it takes a lot of time to find the perfect material on these websites. If you want to know how to get access to these materials and how to import them into Lumion, click on the chart in the top right corner. Now with these new materials, the project looks already way better. The next thing is the foliage. To improve the foliage, we need to put a little bit more time into the placing. Using foliage makes sense and also complements the building. So low foliage like bushes or flowers close to the building and big foliage like trees or large bushes further away from the building. Make use of the fine detail foliage but only close to the camera because these will slow down your project really fast if you use too much. After adding some other hedges and planters, changing the trees and now we have foliage that is part of the render instead of just filling up the blank grass. Other thing I want to talk about is composition and camera. Some people just make a picture with the default 50mm lens. This gives a really wide field of view. I would suggest to put the focal length between 25 or 30mm. This is the range closest to the most used focal length in the cinema because this is a little wider than a person's field of view. So let's change the lens to 25 but also the angle to have a better composition. Make sure to use the eye perspective option that Lumion provides us. This makes the render look more realistic and natural. Also adding a two point perspective makes the building looking not too tall. These changes made it feel better than before. The next thing I want to talk about are the light settings. Lighting is really important. It gives a feeling to the render. A big part of that is the real skies. In the render from Oliver was the sky way too dark. The skies shall always be lighter than the building. Let's go for a neutral render. Then change the angle of the sun, so the building has a nice sunny and a shade side. Then let's add some reflection panels to increase the realism of the reflections. Now we can play with some color corrections and shadows. That's it for the basic light settings. I will make another video about all the light settings and also a separate video about ray tracing. So, the last thing I want to talk about are the cars and the people. Adding them gives the render more life. But most people add the 3D people and they just ruin the render because they are not very realistic. I prefer to use the 2D ones because these are lit as well and look better in a static render. Also, don't use bright colors for the cars. Just use dark colors, grays or whites. Bright colored cars take the focus of the building away. Darker cars and gray ones don't. Also, adding a license plate makes the car look more realistic. And of course, use the plates of the country where the render takes place. So after all these tips and changes, we made the render looking like this. Do this. In like 20 minutes. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing. Also let me know what other things could improve this render in a short time. Hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Bye!